Bonjour! Today let's have a look how to pronounce th in a French word, okay? Okay, so when you have th in English, you pronounce it either the or the, as in the theatre or that, okay? But in French, you must not do that. No, in French, the th together is pronounced as a t sound, okay? Quite simply, t. So I'm going to show you a few examples with th of French words with th in, uh, in them. And so we are going to learn how to pronounce them. And maybe you can do that before I even begin, okay? So have a look at the list, okay? Would you feel confident that you can pronounce these words? Let's have a look at the first one. So, du t, and that's t as in a cup of tea. Du t, okay, t h e t. Le théâtre, the theater. Le théâtre. Le thème, that's the theme. Le thème, okay. Remember, t h is t. La théorie, la théorie. Okay, and this is the theory. Okay, theory, 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 theory. La thérapie, or oh, une thérapie. Therapy, okay, la thérapie. Now, this one is thermal, and that is thermal in French, in English, sorry. Thermal, okay, in French, thermal in English. Thèse, and that's the thesis, thesis, thesis. I can't pronounce it in English. Le thesaurus. And that's the thesaurus. Le thesaurus. Now, this, this one is my favorite one. I love this. Du ton. That's tuna. Du ton. Okay, T-H-O-N. Du ton. And not thon, by the way. Du tin. And this is thyme, the herb. Du tin. Okay. Du tin. La thyroid, that's thyroid, la thyroid, okay? So we've got these words and they all begin with th, but sometimes you have th in the middle of the word. So it could be les mathématiques, les mathématiques, we can also say les maths, les mathématiques. So you wouldn't say the math or mathematics, you would say mathématiques. And here's another word as well, athlète. Athlete. An athlete is athlete. An athlete. 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 Athlete or athlete? Athlete. Athlete. Gosh, a problem pronouncing the English words, I tell you. Now, an athlete. So, we can notice that th is definitely t throughout. And it will never be the, like uh, that or the theater, okay? It wouldn't, okay? So, that's why in, in French, actually, when a French person speaks, English, it doesn't come naturally to them to pronounce the. So we tend to say the, okay, because we can't hear the. So we say the theater. It's easier for us to do it this way because it doesn't come naturally at all, okay? So don't, don't be harsh on French people when they speak with a French accent and they say the theater. Anyway, here is an example of all these words in a French text. So read with me. Hier, Je suis allé au café où j'ai bu un thé et mangé un sandwich au thon et au thym. Ensuite, je suis allé voir une pièce de théâtre avant de rentrer chez moi pour finir ma thèse sur les développements de la thérapie thermale. Okay, so try to read again with me and remember that it's not, it has to come naturally to you to say T and not the. Okay, so here we go again and then we'll translate it. Hier, je suis allé au café où j'ai bu un thé et mangé un sandwich au thon et au thym. Ensuite, je suis allé voir une pièce de théâtre avant de rentrer chez moi pour finir ma thèse sur le développement de la thérapie thermale. Now, I'm not sure the last bit means a lot, but it means yesterday I went to the cafe where I drank tea and ate a tuna and thyme sandwich. Then I went to see a play 
before going back home to finish my essay on thermal therapy development. I don't know. I put these three words together thinking they sounded good. I don't even know whether that even exists. Okay, that's it for me. Remember that there is a support guide available at learnfrenchwithalexa.com and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope to see you soon. Leave a comment. Au revoir. A bientôt. Bisous, bisous. Thank <laughs> you.